Oh, nice shot. Now shooting a beer can, uh, how does that make you feel? Pretty good. It's beer can season, you know, whenever the weather's good and I'm around at my mum and dad's. <laughs> Hi Brian, gotta go, gotta shoot cans. <laughs> we haven't seen you in two, gotta go. Yeah. How old were we the first time that we shot beer cans with the air rifles at your parents' house? Mm, 11 or 12, something Yeah, left one. Me and my dog went through the high grass. Me and my dog went through the high grass, right to the back of the valley. Grass was all thick and dry. I was thinking how I always tell people how lucky I am to live here, right in nature. I was thinking how my dad might laugh at me because I don't seem a typical nature, nature enthusiast. The dog was bounding up and over the... I can't do it. <laughs> I can't read it. Okay. Uh, untitled. Beef and salad with mayonnaise and mustard. Treat for a shed. Wait, how many sheds did you crash? Uh, well, just the one that was a really nice shed. I want to go to Japan. What are you doing, you little bastard? I think you've fallen off the rails and are taking cannabis. I'm telling everybody that. I am suffering from depression here in Bath, despite everything being nice here. Some sun, the playful dog. I want to go to Japan with a nice neon streets fair. I'm sort of standing funny there, the wind's catching the arms, I don't, it looks like I'm trying to be uh, particularly tough, I don't think, <laughs> I think I'm just bracing against the wind, mm. do you think that, look at my stance, very aggressive, yeah, yeah, you look, yeah, you look like you're talking <laughs> shit to me, you know? <laughs> like you're about to like, <laughs> swing a left hook, a Japanese big robot, <laughs> you know, from a big sort of manga cartoon, towering over, but you got, of course, almost taller, mm. Who would, who would win a fight? Yeah, well, a lot of aggression, isn't it? And you, you're turn away from me. I'm very confrontational. My granny has been in bed for six years now and still has not seen her husband's grave. She used to hide from her boyfriends when they came to the house. One time she got locked in her larder. Her first boyfriend died on a submarine which sank just like the Kursk. How are you going to get up this? Fuck. Weird. Up there. I'm getting myself on that one. I'll be okay. Do you need a boost? Yeah. You sure? Mm -hmm. You're positive. Well, if I can get my foot in this. Where do you want my. If I can get my foot on here and then. Do you need a boost from over foot? On the right? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Now, this tree, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted us to climb this tree and, and conduct an interview at the top of this tree, but. Personally, I think the reasons we couldn't get up this tree are because the tree is rotten and, as you can see, falling to pieces. And also, I think uh, yeah, yeah, blame the tree. we were a little bit drunk yeah. at this point. Slightly drunk. What? I think we're gonna make it. Hang on, give me that. I think I've got a little more time, I think. Hmm. It's a saying in tree surgery. Try three times at a rope and get the ladder. Oh, uh, we gotta fast forward through this. This is so fucking boring. Okay. 
Can I have a beer, please, bro? I need a glass, man. <laughs> you have one as well? Oh, yeah. You get two? Special limited edition cans. Oh, shit. Fucker. Hey. Cheers. So that. Mmm. Uh, if you could talk to um, the people in those hot air balloons, what would you say? I'd say then? stop charging so much money, and we'd all get in them, and they'd, you know, we'd, everybody would be in air balloons all the time. It's just people go in air balloons in the premium, sort of night sky, dusky time. If everyone were in hot air balloons a whole kind of time throughout the day, and travel in hot air balloons would be brilliant. You know, it's a good bastard city for that. You can take off in a park, uh, land in another park, land in some farmer's field, like my dad's. Get a friend with a shotgun and what have you, go back and pay ten pounds up you go, round you go. But no, you just these days it's all hundred and ten pounds and you're crammed in with six other people drinking champagne and you know, it's a shame. It is a real shame. So just for the rich. And especially these days <laughs> these days with, you know, cars and things blocking out the roads that air balloon travel was completely impractical. <laughs> but fun. I don't know, I think it's, you know, it's a leisure thing, isn't it? I mean, that's a great thing about air balloons, they're leisure, leisure time. They're, oh, we'll go up and it's nice and sunny. You know, I like to go up in the rain and was blowing a gale and having to get somewhere fast by half, you know, in half an hour and start work. That'd be great. You know, I'll ring up my boss and say, oh, I'm going to be late, the balloon's blown 20 miles off course, but once I get in a land drive and drive back to you, I'll be there in about 11 o'clock. But no, it's just, you know, life's too fast for that now these days. Don't uh, put that burning yeah. moss on that mm. food, man. Thanks, you stop this woman. You're gonna knock off. <coughs> you fucking idiot. You stupid, stupid person. You can turn around. I'm so hungry. You can turn around. Well, don't hit him with a mossy piece of fucking log. Why'd you do that? So a perfect end to it all right here. Good weekend. Mm. What did you achieve? I didn't achieve a goddamn thing. Perfect weekend. Mm.